Kittens, this is Kitty Cat, and everyone who is a Lolita Rolita or interested in Harajuku fashion, this is another haul that is a collaboration between Disney and Angelique Pretty, Match Made in Heaven, because they do lovely dresses which are really, really affordable. I actually. Whoop, bring, 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 bring. I pretty much have all of them that I've done so far. And I'm not sorry because they're cute and they're cheap. Uh, the very first one that I really liked was Upside Down Story. That was when I came to Japan and started living here and they finally did it uh, after that uh, lovely review I did as well of the Rapunzel dress. I wear this so much. I wore this yesterday actually on the last Harajuku Fashion Walk and I realized that I wore this exactly one year ago at that Harajuku Fashion Walk as well because uh, it's lovely once it ho it's hot, it's really easy to wash nice one as well then my my favorite kiss me cat which was my birthday dress this year oh and not forget that one was before that actually in winter the fairy fairy season one so loads and lots of lovely collaborations they have done which is Walt Disney meets Lolita fashion always always great uh, if you're curious about the reviews of the other dresses I put the link in the top right so click that and you can check that out later and, and find out how I review those dresses and what's good about them and what made them so good uh, so but with sugar fairy season the reason why I bring this one back up it had my favorite Disney princess on it so I was like oh snow gloves again I already have a snow globe dress and this bow here is a bit big but it has Ariel on and I love Ariel so I needed to buy this but then Angel Look Pretty and the Disney Store Japan brought out a dress that is just for Ariel which makes me so happy she's my favorite Disney princess so let's review this lovely lovely dress which is called Ariel and Flounder they're doing this again to me they're doing this again to me all those pretty dresses but at first the, the price was actually uh, 9,612 yen so I dashed into the Disney Store and looked at it and was a bit like hmm Hmm. It didn't put quite as much effort into it as I'd like them to. So, for example, the Kiss Me Cat print had loads more detail. Look at this, it had like the bows and it had like ruffles here, cute buttons, lots of frill here, lots of detail. It had like a skirt and an underskirt with it. And they just put so much, so much effort into it. And then long, long sleeves, no saving on fabric, good print. And to be honest, to be honest, the Ariel dress wasn't as good, so I was like, you know, this time I'm actually not going to do the error that I've done the last three times and buy it straight away. How about I wait and see if it drops in price and hopefully it's still available then. And luckily that's what happened. So I waited a little bit and it dropped in price. And it actually came down to 4,806 yen, which is so cheap. It's still on that... Uh, on the page right now on the Disney store so if you have friends in Japan who can maybe order the dress for you and you're interested that would be your way forward so also what I find really nice with this dress is blue obviously I already matched my makeup with this because I'm planning on wearing this straight away once I take it out of the bag I think what they did is they were inspired by the dress that Ariel actually wears when she transformed into a human so it's the blue uh, which I thought was actually really cute so Without further ado, let's get that lovely lady out of its bag! Shocking! <laughs> to be honest, I was a bit shocked when the shop assistant was like, take this dress. Me, 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 origami, little ball. And put that into the bag, and I was like, oh, don't do this, don't hurt the baby, don't hurt the dress. Let's open it! Daisy Donald, Daisy Donald, Daisy Donald. Which of the Disney characters that you've seen so far in all the Disney movies? What's the most annoying in your opinion? Anyways, first of all, da 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 is. Uh, 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 that's not the dress. If the dress was that size now, then really I would have said something to the shop assistant. This one here is. Shaking! Da da! The head bow! And the head bow goes perfectly with the dress because it has the same pattern. You can see Ariel is on a little shell on there. I think they did really, 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 really lovely accessories. I can't even speak. I can't even. Uh, lovely accessories with this series. So uh, when that dropped in price, or even the accessories dropped in price, that's a nice one. So this is a beretta. You put that here on the back of your head. Again, again, that is what Ariel wears when she transforms into a human. She has like a 
the little bow on the back of her head. And this one has a lighter material on top of the actual dress material, which means it is lighter here, which also happened with the, with the Ariel dress. I think that's a, a bit of attention to detail that I personally very appreciate as a fan of the movie. So that is the cute little bow. It's so cute. It's so cute and sparkly. But let's get the baby out. Ladies and gentlemen. Let me get to it. Oh, there it is. Here we are, Ariel and Flounder. Now they had several dresses in store and if you watch some of the other videos you know that you need to watch closely and check the printout sometimes closely to make sure the quality is okay. So for this one what I found nice is uh, it actually has Ariel here um, right on the front in the middle. All the other dresses didn't have that. Obviously she's upside down but she's swimming so I kind of taught myself, you know, she's doing the the swimming spinny stuff that she does in the movies so it's kind of okay they had this in M and they had this in L this is the M size one thing I'd be very careful about there is no shearing on the back so you need to be sure that this is your size before you try this on the zipper at the back opens quite low which is good so you can get into it quite easily and to give it a bit more of a shape in case you're a bit more skinny uh, there's a nice bow here that you can tie at the back to give yourself a little bit more of a female shape. So that's the back of the dress. Again, the print is lovely. You can see her swimming together with flounder. And what they did at the top is, which resembles again the dress that she was wearing in the movie, is it kind of goes up here at the bust in a kind of like wavy form, which has a little bit of lacy, which is nice, a little bit of lace on the collar. Let's zoom in a little bit. So you can see here the lace at the collar, very nice. That's the, the front, the bust bit. Um, the material is very thin and very very breezy, that's Ariel over here and again generally the print is here. So she'll be turning around and swimming around, I think that kind of works still with Ariel uh, so she doesn't have to look the same direction all the time. It was probably also a lot easier for Angelique Pretty to fabricate. Now the bow at the front I think is a bit of a sad thing and that's actually one of the reasons why I didn't buy it straight away. I saw the bow and was like what the, what the, what the, what the. I don't know. This needs to probably get probably get stitched on for it to look good. Otherwise, it will just look a bit sad. Like, oh, I'm so sad. Look, I'm a bit of a sad face. I think for the price of four thousand something something yen, I forgot already. Uh, that is a very very good bargain. I'm actually really really glad I have this dress now. And as you can see, I'm planning to wear this straight away. I put on the blue makeup already. What uh, same thing though that it uh, happens with the Rapunzel dress. This one gets see through. It gets very, very see-through, so you need to wear something underneath it that gives you a little bit of coverage. Uh, there isn't even, there is an underskirt, as you can see. So there is a bit of an underskirt, but it still, still looks quite see-through to me. So be sure that you wear something underneath to <laughs> protect your modesty, ladies and gentlemen. But again, this one in a set with the head bow is, is, a, is a dream of mine, I think. Uh, we are gonna have a lovely summer together. I'm actually planning of wearing this a little bit tuned down again. So not OTT, but maybe like uh, with a pair of my new sneakers that I have. So it's uh, for a comfortable day out when you know you're gonna walk around a lot. For example, playing Pokemon Go, which I'm gonna be doing today. So that's gonna be another another good thing to be comfortable on, on my way uh, gaming and playing. I can't wait anymore. Let's try this on. Ta-da! And there we are! I, Angelina, I was gonna say Angelina. Ariel and Flounder dress. And that is the dress. It is lovely. I find it very nice. The material is really breezy, which is really, really good now for summer. As I said, in a good way, it's very breezy. In a bad way, the top is pretty much very, very see-through. So definitely wear a little camisole underneath. The skirt is not as see-through, so if you wear a white, beige or grey kind of underwear, it shouldn't show through. Um, so basically that's it. Oh, only thing I have to warn you though, it is a bit tighter than all the other dresses I've had so far. So check the size that it fits you. It just about fit me and uh, I think uh, this area here can get really tight. I uh, had to uh, tighten a little bit afterwards, but it's the first time when I was like, oh, well, this is th that's new. So I think they made it a little bit more petite this time to maybe fit the Japanese sizes a little bit better. Again, that's the, that's the little bow at the back, uh, the Beretta. I think that works really well. Very, very happy with this dress. Perfect for summer. 
And uh, yeah, that's gonna be my new I am going on a fun day out kind of dress, I think. So what do you think about this dress? What is your review? Who's your favorite Disney princess? In case you haven't let me know already, let me know again. And uh, yeah, I hope I see you soon for another video and about fashion hauls or my Friday fashion features or maybe just for playing Pokemon. I hope you enjoy my channel. Thank you very much for watching this video right until the end. You get a special kiss for that. Mwah! Thank you very much. Don't forget to leave a like and I'll catch you soon for another video on my channel. Thank you. Bye. Let's go. Out of your world.